probably should have had some other shoes on than that. Oh, I have some other shoes. I didn't know that. Obama lets people know in his major economic speech that George Bush and the Republicans are totally responsible. Oh, well, yeah. He said this morning uh, on his, his, his weekend address that the reason why our job, our, our unemployment record is as bad as it is because of George Bush and the Republicans. If George Bush and the Republicans would just do what was best for the country instead of the, the, the rich people that they want to give money to, well, the problem is, is that the Republicans are middle class. They are not the wealthy. Almost like they said, it's hard for George, for um, Barack Obama. You know, well, I mean, last night I was listening to a woman ranting and raving about how rich they were, and they said, "No, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the minimum forty thousand dollar a plate dinner that that the president of the United States had for his fat cats, who outnumber." The Republican fat cats, a hundred. Well, we're not George Bush and the Republicans, and they said they kept going on about George Bush, and he said somebody cut. Then they said they cut him off, Mike off, because you can see he said bitch. This is one of their people, and she just sits there the rest of the time because he said if you're not going to answer the questions and you're going to do nothing but do a campaign speech for the president, you're not going to be on this show ever again. Did Ooh, you know? What show was that one? Um, it was uh, one of the CNBC things, and they're left wing. Yeah, but they're they are. trying to get responses about the um, uh, 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 about the the, uh, the the thing he did yesterday, which was his deal about immigration reform. Instead, mm -hmm. she's talking about George Bush and the Republicans. You know, we have to hold forty thousand dollars. We have to get people to give all the money they can give in order to stop George Bush. And I said that wasn't what we're talking about. We're talking about the immigration thing. And and she said George Bush and the Republicans. Um, they got it. They have a talking points. They they basically like here's the thing. Obama accomplished nothing yesterday because some guy over at Bloomberg actually read the whole thing. It is not. It is not a presidential order. It is a request that the Justice Department, that the Immigration Department. The problem is the law supersedes what he did. Mm -hmm. The law is very specific. And then they're not going to register it's for a work visa, folks. If they go register for a work visa, they tell everybody where they're at. And if there's a government change, they get thrown out of the country. Yep. So it's not going to happen. And rock risk forces you so many closures. I know. Ooh, Democrats, what happened? Democrats have got their way. They've been trying to shut down Yosemite and all the national parks. Aww. Now, for all practical purposes, within the next few years, the, their geologist that works for Obama, actually, said there are, there, is, there are no safe places in Yosemite for tourists. None. What? Which means they're going to shut the whole park down eventually. It's just, they're creeping people out. So That's they already really limit sad. how you can get there. It's just the it's the it, it's the Sierra Club at work. I mean, I can guarantee I know the Sierra Club. My family owns a piece of property that we're not allowed to get into because the Sierra Club blocks every time we went every time we win a court ruling, they'd go to court and challenge it in another method. So I mean, for like thirty years, we've had a piece of property to build a, a thing up by Mineral King. And for 30 years, they have blocked access to our, our home. And Obama is spending $20 million to support Obamacare and condemn the Supreme Court. I know, isn't that amazing? That, uh, he, and he didn't, even, he didn't take, uh, he took $20 million of government money, gave the money to a campaign contributor, and then they're turning campaign announcements out for the Obama administration. All of them are talking, they basically, Obama knows he's going to lose on immigration this week or next. He knows he's going to lose on health care, so he's doubling down, which Bill O'Reilly, I can't understand this. You, this man is too smart to continually doing the same things that, that he keeps doing. It's got to be his staff is not serving him well. No, I've, I've listened to his staff. Mm -hmm. And they're the ones that are putting the leaks out about everything that's going to happen because he refuses to listen to them. I mean, Michelle Obama is too smart a person to continually make the same gaffes over and over. This is, he gets off a teleprompter, when he gets off a teleprompter, he's got a really bad temper. I mean, yesterday you could tell the thing was a, I heard him asking last night, Tucker Carlson, uh, was this a setup between your publication and the President of the United States so you could get an interview with the President? And he said, no, it was, it was for real. And he said, the President of the United States never took his eyes off the teleprompter.
Right. He said, no, it was for real. Yeah, he got, they got an interview by having a guy interrupt him. Israeli President Perez to Obama, we support you on Iran. Um, Perez is also the guy that wants to give all the settlements in Jerusalem to the Palestinians. Oh. So, uh, since he wants to, he's an appeaser, he's not a warrior. It is basically means he's there simply because the, the, uh, the, uh, the opposition party is required to have a member in the cabinet. Oh. And so they, they put somebody in a, uh, a figurehead place, which they don't let him do anything except make stupid statements like, we support everything you're doing in Iran, when nobody in Israel supports anything we're doing in Iran. Video, Romanian thieves tried to rob moving truck. I know, they thought that was a really good one. I mean, <laughs> only in movies and bad TV shows on the Sci-Fi Channel can you rob a moving truck. Because first of all, they have side view mirrors. Mm -hmm. So if you try to get into the thing, they see you doing it. And Clinton, Russian attack helicopters headed to Syria. That shows you how much, that, that shows you that there's not, you're never going to get the UN to kick the Sadat out. Because he has, the, he has the Russian and Chinese support and the French support. It's the, it is the main port, Damascus is the main port into the Middle East. You need, who controls the port of Damascus controls the Middle East. And that's why, do you think that anybody would pay any attention to a country, to Syria, that has no resources if they didn't have a god-awful massive seaport? No, mm. there'd never be any attention paid to them. Uh, an Auburn shooting suspect surrenders vampire graves unearthed near Black Sea Town. Yeah, I think I, I, put, I put two pieces together. Okay, the, oh. <laughs> so, okay, here's the thing is, if you, if, you, if you in cold blood kill three people, you skip it. Which he didn't do. And the vampire graves is oh, they're yeah. finding people with stakes driven through their hearts in graves now, which I thought was rather unique. Yeah, I know like, it did start to go. I'm again. looking at a coin. I know. Um, students petition for female moderation at 2012 presidential debates. I know it's not going to happen because I mean because the the the, uh, the okay. They, they have to have independent people doing the moderation, and if you put a woman in, she's not going to be approved by either side because she's either going to be totally to the right or totally to the left because there's no one in between. Mm -hmm. And feds plan to chop down Idaho man's $14,000 treehouse. I know. It's been there for years. They give him permission to, to do the rebuilding of the treehouse because it was in the lap day of shape, and then as soon as he rebuilt it, the Army Corps of Engineers decided well, no, it's too close to the bank, and you're gonna, we're going to have to cut it down. So what? He, they, no, they put it this way: it's another example of the president of the United States screwing anybody that he that doesn't vote for him. This was a Republican, so okay, spend fourteen thousand dollars rehabbing the place, and then the day you get it rehabbed, they serve you with a the notice they're going to have to cut it down. It's just to teach Republicans a lesson. All that, it, to, that it just makes like, them mad. That's all that's it does. That's not to piss you off. Yeah, he he. he when I actually wrote a piece a year ago, which I'm going to have to bring out again and put on the site, about why, how, what the, how this president is actually planning to run. And veterans' letters make it home 43 years after his death, trending. I know that's sweet. I mean, you don't think our mail service is really bad. Mm -hmm. A man calls police on cougar. Turns out to be a house cat. Oh, God. They had a person yesterday call a people. I don't have as much cheese on my Subway sandwich as I should have. Are you serious? And I want these people arrested, so they, they did arrest him for filing a false police complaint. Are you serious? Yeah, he Somebody... called, had the police come to a Subway to arrest the people there because they didn't give him as much cheese as he thought he should have. <laughs> the only person that pointed out was, it wasn't a cheese sandwich. <laughs> there was no cheese on it. They didn't know it was like a meatball sandwich with no cheese. So. <laughs> and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. If you keep telling somebody that something has to be done and everything collapses because it wasn't done, it's time to quit.